Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to have a little fun today. I'm going to make my first cooking video. So if you hang on after the break, I'll show you what I'm making. Hey guys, all right, what I'm gonna be making today is a Carolina vinegar barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna make it Cape Fear River style, and that's because two great things happened to us in our 20 years over in North Carolina. We live five miles from the Cape Fear River, and we live the same distance from the state winning barbecue place. So that man had gone to the state fair year after year, and he had a whole wall lined with plaques, and he knew what he was doing, and everybody else knew it too. Not only did he have a restaurant, he had a catering business, and he was very, very successful. And uh, I'll tell you to include that one year, that restaurant burnt to the ground, and the people of our community got together, and we built that restaurant back up again. It was, it was really worth it. So I'm not gonna share with you his exact recipe, but I'm gonna get you real close, and uh, get you something you can enjoy. So. We're gonna to get to this footage and we're gonna make us some Cape Fear Carolina vinegar barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna see if I can't mess it up really bad. All right guys, we're just gonna jump right in here and uh, we're gonna make this uh, Cape Fear River vinegar barbecue sauce. And uh, I don't work with a, with a recipe card or anything. You'll, you'll see that when Tina does the cooking and stuff. But uh, I am going to put the recipe down in the description so you guys will have it. But if we're going to make Cape Fear River vinegar sauce, then we're going to have to build a river bottom. And uh, I always just remember it by uh, telling myself a story. And uh, in, the, in the beginning, I'm sure the Cape Fear River was uh, nice and clean and had a sandy bottom. So we're going to put in a tablespoon of onion powder. Now over time, I'm sure that the river built up a little bit of sediment and got a little more dirty. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of garlic powder. That's a little bit darker, but uh, that's, that's just the way it is. But uh, then I'm sure as things floated down river and the river started to get chunkier and chunkier, it got some more dirt in it. So we're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. So then we gotta have some uh, creepy crawlies in the river here. So we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and seeds. So that's gonna be our river bottom here. And uh, we can't have a river without uh, some old logs in it. If you're familiar with the Cape Fear River, it's a it's an old twisty tangled river. So we're gonna need some logs, so we're gonna throw in a couple of dried red peppers. So those will be our logs for the river bottom. So we'll uh, go ahead now. We're gonna have to make some water for our river. So we'll get back to you on that in just a second. All right, guys, the recipe that we're gonna be making is for uh, six pints. And if you're not familiar with measurements, a pint is two cups. So we're gonna need about 12 cups of liquid. And uh, we'll show you what we're gonna do. Now, if we're gonna make a river, then it's gotta be a good river. So the old Cape Fear River, we used to slide down there catfishing. And anytime we had some troubles or sorrows, that, uh, that old river would soak them up. But uh, if you're gonna make a Cape Fear River vinegar recipe, you're gonna need three things. The Cape Fear River is gonna to have to have blood, sweat, and tears. So we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of Frank's hot sauce. We're gonna use four cups of apple cider vinegar, and we're gonna use eight cups of white vinegar. So we're gonna go ahead and get that put together. We'll get it over here in the pan, then we'll get it over to the stove. We're gonna bring it up to a good boil, and I'll show you that once we get it mixed up. But if you're gonna make Cape Fear vinegar recipe, then you gotta have blood, sweat, and tears. So I'll bring you back when we get that mixed up. 
All right, guys, we're getting ready to add the last of our ingredients. We had a, we've got our uh, quarter of a cup of Frank sauce in there. We got our four cups of apple cider vinegar. We got four cups of white distilled vinegar, but we need eight. So we're gonna go ahead and add the last four cups of the white distilled vinegar. These are our tears. We'll add those to the pan here. And since everybody knows tears are salty and the good folks of the Carolinas are the salt of the earth, we're gonna add three tablespoons of salt. We'll go ahead and get that mixed up and then uh, we'll get that salt dissolved and we'll get it on some heat and then we're gonna break it down in these jars. All right guys, we got this pot up to a boil. And what we're gonna do is hold it there at that boil for about 10 minutes. We're gonna let everything get good and incorporated together. And then we're gonna take this pot back over to the table and uh, we'll show you how we get it uh, back in them jars. All right, guys, we're gonna have to move a little quick cause you want this to stay as hot as possible. But we're gonna go through a process very similar to canning. But what we're gonna do is We've got our uh, canning funnel here, and I'm working left-handed, so y'all just be patient with me. But we're gonna go ahead and fill these jars, and you're gonna see it's gonna mix up with the bottom stuff there. That'll settle out. I'm, in fact, I wanna show you that once it does. So we're gonna go ahead and get these jars filled up, and we're gonna come right about to this uh, ring here on the bottom lip of the jar, that's about an inch of head space. Ain't gotta be perfect, but uh, we'll go ahead and get that funnel out of there. Then what we'll do is we're gonna go around the edge of the jar. we will make sure we didn't get any uh, vinegar stuff there on the top. And then we got some rings over here in hot water or some uh, lids. We're gonna go ahead and put a lid on there Get a ring on it. Man, that jar's hot. We're gonna go ahead and crank that ring down. And what'll happen is, is now because of the vinegar, we don't have to do any canning process to it. But if you get that ring down good and tight, what'll happen is, is that jar will go ahead and seal up just like a canning jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done up. And uh, I'm gonna let them sit for just a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring you back into Show you a little trick with them. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring you back in here real quick. Show you the little trick I was talking about. Now, you can probably see some of the jars in the back swirling. But uh, one thing is, is sometimes life gets a little crazy and it gets a little mixed up. But if you want all the flavor out of life, you gotta take the good with the bad. So we're gonna give these a quick spin. We're gonna set them up. And I'm going to show you what that old river can do. All right, guys, I want to bring you in here one last time just to show you that whatever you throw at that old river, it can take it and it'll just go back to being what it is. The silt will settle to the bottom and the water will keep right on flowing. Over time, even the logs and stuff will sink back down to the bottom and it makes for an actually a pretty cute scene if uh, you're ever showing off your uh, Carolina Cape Fear River sauce. But uh, what you want to do now is uh, we're going to put that up for about two weeks. And uh, you want you to go through every day and give that a good swirl and uh, just let it settle back down and uh, let it sit for about two weeks. And that flavor will just keep maturing and get a bunch of different flavor profiles down through it. But uh, I don't think you're going to beat it. You might see better cooking videos, but you're sure not going to find a better recipe. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, cut this off I'll be back to talk to you in just a second but uh, that there is a Carolina vinegar barbecue sauce Cape Fear River style all right guys that's gonna about do it for the video today we hope you enjoyed it now that sauce is uh, really good you can put it on fish or you can put it on collard greens or as my brother-in-law Dick would say you could put it on a flip-flop and make it edible but it's some good stuff if you like vinegar barbecue or you like salt and vinegar chips or uh, that kind of flavor it's really good but my favorite thing to put it on is pulled pork 
So you can guess what videos we got coming up. We just got us a smoker and uh, we may or may not have picked up some things to put on that smoker, but we're going to have this barbecue sauce standing by ready to go. So this is our Cape Fear Carolina vinegar barbecue sauce. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment down below. If you've got a secret recipe, go ahead and uh, share it with us. I'm going to put our recipe down in the description. If you need a copy of it, I don't have Tina's fancy recipe card, so I'm just going to have to type it out old school. So, uh, but if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment. Tell us about your barbecue sauce or what you've been cooking lately. And if you like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll subscribe. Down below is a red button. It says subscribe. Go ahead and hit that. It just takes a second. It's free and easy. But uh, next to it is a bell. We hope you'll go ahead and click on that bell. And what that does is it'll send you a notification, either an email or a little pop-up, and tell you whenever we've released a new video. And that's a great way to help keep up with the channel. But, uh, and if you want, go ahead and read down through those comments below. We've got some great, great viewers, and uh, we have some great conversations down there. And go ahead and join in the conversation, because we take our cues from you guys. Wherever you want this channel to go, that's where we're going to go. As long as it's within the realm of... Uh, homesteading or something to do with the outdoors, then uh, we'll tell you what we know about it. So uh, if you would, just uh, hang tight and uh, we appreciate you coming by the channel. We'll see you in the next one.